This is a video about why you should never put any type of coating or epoxy paints or anything on the inside of an engine block. This is a 440 Chrysler block for a customer that dropped it off with us that really didn't want much done to it. Uh, skimmed the decks, cam bearing it, a uh, couple things. Well, it came in with this engine block coating. I'm not gonna say the names, there's a couple out there, but if, if you know anything about this, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, you don't really see it much anymore. It's kind of an old school thing uh, guys did back in the day. Uh, but I just kind of, this was a really good opportunity to explain why it's a horrible idea to use this stuff. So, and here's why. So if you look, and I explain this all to the customer that I would uh, clean the block first. I'd just run it through the washer first. And if it came off, then we would have to proceed to stripping all this out. And sure enough, five minutes in the washer. And side note, the chemical we run in our washer is safe on cast iron, aluminum, plastic, glass, uh, anything. So it's not like a harsh cleaning chemical that strips anything it's basically just a really good degreaser is what it is so anyway this is literally five minutes in a washer and all of this is coming off okay all of it's coming off and it's not just here it's in this roll here flip this block up it's all inside the timing cover or the back of the timing cover peeling up coming off all inside the mains everywhere and you see it all off in here where it's peeling up this this is why i never this is the worst thing you could do to an engine block um because the first thing this stuff does is it peels off, goes inside, either stops up the pickup tube if the pieces that are coming off, you know, flake off in bigger pieces, which I have seen occasionally, uh, or it stops up the filter, and then you've got other issues. But just trying to get you some shots here of what this stuff is. The theory was is you coated the whole inside of the engine block lifter valley and it would seal off all the cast iron porosity and would allow the oil to flow back into the sump oil pan faster well i've only ever seen this actually stick and stick good on maybe two blocks ever it's and it's it's just too big of a gamble uh for me and I would never recommend anybody to do this to anything. Uh, I'll go ahead and lay this down. A little bit better shot of the underside. That's that's where the pickup tube screws in on a big block Mopar. I mean, you can just see it. It's all peeling everywhere. So now, and this customer brought this in just wanting some a few things done to it, not much. Uh, we have to strip all this off for him. Uh, we've already explained this to him uh, when he brought it and everything. So anyway, it's, it's just cost, gonna cost the customer more money than what he anticipated uh, because someone talked him into doing this. Uh, just kinda wanna make this video really to the guys out there that stumble across this stuff just don't need to take you just don't need to gamble with it just don't don't do it and you won't have to ever worry about your coating coming off and ruining a perfectly good engine anyway thanks guys